Bonjour everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis here. And yes, I'm so sorry, in literally every previous video I was calling this disease lichen sclerosis because I was absolutely 100% sure that that was the correct pronunciation. And even my UK doctor has never corrected me because he's very sweet. <laughs> okay, so let's begin the video in which I will tell you about the stages of lichen sclerosis. Lichen. Lichen, lichen, lichen. In one of my previous videos about early stages of lichen sclerosis, which I will link down below in the description to this video, I told you about the very, very early signs when you can spot the beginning of the disease. In this video, I will tell you about next stages so that you can have the whole picture of how this disease can manifest itself. The first, the very, very first stage, especially in kids, can be only redness. This slight redness can be even without any discomfort at all. Or it can be followed by itchiness and just a slight, slight skin discoloration. If you don't have a habit to look down there in a special mirror every day and compare how it was today, tomorrow, yesterday or a month ago, then probably you won't even notice this slight, slight discoloration. The second stage can involve fissures, but it's really, really rare when micro tearings are involved on the second stage. The second stage involves itch, burning and Pain. Pain during sex, pain during riding a bicycle. This type of pain reminds me of excessive rubbing of your skin. You know this feeling? If you rub even your hands together too much, you will have this uncomfortable feeling. If you were washing your floors with the mop and you were using it for too long, your hands will get red and you have this calluses or maybe just, you know, this pain from rubbing against the wooden pole. But that's how the pain on the stage 2 of lichen sclerosis feels like. Some doctors say that if lichen sclerosis also affects your perianal area, then you will have constipations. Well, for me, this is a very doubtful thing to say because constipations are commonly caused with some problems with your guts or with your stomach or whatever. Although when you have lichen sclerosis in perianal area it can become problematic to use the toilet, it can be painful and you can have some micro tearings, so this is the reality. The third stage is when the discoloration of the skin transforms into some white patches. They generally look like a scar tissue and they are called lesions. It can be accompanied by ulcerations or more pain, more itching, more burning. The experienced doctor will definitely arrange you a biopsy. Then we have this labia fusion or labia adhesion, which means that your labia minora and labia majora just get glued together. Also, the vaginal entrance can be sealed with time and on this stage you will definitely need an operation to make your life easier and more comfortable. And another stage involves more ulcers, bleeding that won't go away by itself or using corticosteroids or whatever, plugs and nods. This can be the signs that lichen sclerosis has transformed into vulvar crowrosis or even cancer. If you noticed some nods in your vaginal area, please immediately go to your doctor and take every possible test. Of course, there are some asymptomatic causes and some people can't understand like I was healthy two months ago, but now I'm having this itching, burning that doesn't go away and skin discoloration and patching and all this in two months. How did that happen? 
I can tell you because I had the same trouble I had in asymptomatic lichen sclerosis and then in the course of two months I was experiencing something terrible. Do not panic in this case. Yes, this happens when you were asymptomatic most of the time. What you need to do is just go to your doctor and find the treatment that will help you to manage your symptoms and that will help you hopefully to get the remission. In conclusion, I want to tell you that a lot of people think about cancer when they have any skin disease like lichen sclerosis. I will assure you that the percentage of people who develop vulvar cancer having lichen sclerosis is very small. Even doctors have now a very very small amount of information about cases when lichen sclerosis became cancer and they can't tell you for sure was it lichen sclerosis that became the cause of the malignant change in somebody's skin or it were two separate causes two separate cases when a patient had lichen sclerosis but then they had cancer but lichen sclerosis and cancer weren't connected at all. Thank you so much for all your kind comments under my videos. I really appreciate it and I feel honored to give you this information and support as much as I can. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below the video. See you in the next episode. Bye!